or lower. According to PCGS, Enema 6 defobs their scars but still easy to locate with minimal effort. Enema 6 to 6 their scars was probably less than a thousand in this condition or higher. Enema 6 to 7 its really scars was less than a handful known. Today at Mint Day 6 to 7 was full steps. Jefferson Nichols minted in 1964 are worth over $5,500 as for PCGS price guide. This is the most valuable 1964 issue, so-called SMS Nickel, graded as SP68 full steps by PCGS. This piece shows an amazing sculptural depth of detail that's uniformly absent on business strikes, yet fully equal to the strike on proof coin. The finish, however, is non-reflective with heavy dye polishing lines that are seen with variations on the 1964 SMS coinage. On the reverse, not only are the five central steps complete, but most of small steps on the porticus on each side are sharp as well. Contact evidence is almost non-existent, and both sides display pretty lilac and ice blue coloration. A lovely example of the elusive 1964 special mint set coinage that was apparently produced to test the finishes of 1965-1967 SMS sets. The estimate of sets produced ranges from 20 to 50, although some of them may have been lost to attrition. Sold on January 7, 2016 for $32,900 at Heritage Auctions. Regular Strike 1964 nickels are relatively rare at superb gem grade like MS67. This is 1964 Jefferson nickel at mentioned grade with full steps designation. For registry set specialists, this superb gem is quite literally the ultimate 1964 Jefferson of MS66. Furthermore, not only is this coin finer than the piece represented in the current highest rated registry set, it's finer by two full grade points. The strike is excellent and swirling champagne and ice blue hues further heighten the appeal. For those who recently started collecting US coins, full steps is a grading designation used for circulation struck Jefferson nickels, which have at least five full steps visible at the base of Monticello on the reverse. Broadly speaking, the designation is used to identify coins which have been fully struck. This numismatic pinnacle was sold for $14,100 in 2014 at Heritage Auctions. The most popular error variety among 1964 nickels is repunched mint mark. This is 1964 Jefferson nickel with D mint mark punched over the D. Grade at mint stage 65 plus by PCGS. The repunching on the D is plainly visible beneath the loop on this popular cherry pickers variety. This high end gem is sharply struck in most areas, save for on the steps where slight softness is seen. A few small marks on Jefferson's cheek limit the grade. Brilliant and very appealing. PCGS has attributed only six examples of this variety in all grades, sold on November 11, 2021, for $9,000. 1962 Jefferson nickels are one of the available issues of the vintage years. Mintages were very large, over 377 million struck for circulation by two mints. Philadelphia and Denver are the mint varieties needed to recognize. Both are collected separately. With increased production, Denver struck the third highest number of nickels in 1962 of all date and mint combinations of the vintage era. Many were saved from circulation over the years and are available in large numbers today. Light to moderately worn is the average quality of the most 1962D nickels. 1962 nickels are highly elusive at superb gem conditions with full steps on Monticello building. At mint state 67, they make over $3,500 as for PCGS price guide. Here is 1962 nickel graded at mint state 67 plus with full steps. The 1962 date is not particularly noteworthy issue within the long running Jefferson nickel series. Struck to the extent of nearly 100 million pieces, the 1962P is often seen with the dye erosion. This piece is not an exception, as the dye flow lines appear on both sides, more prominently on the reverse, where they show both in fields and on Monticello. However, this piece shows a no questions five full steps strike on reverse, apparently at the expense of the hair near Jefferson's ear. 
generous luster prevails over lovely surfaces with pale jade, gold and pink hues. Two small nicks on Jefferson require a loop to see. Sold on August 9, 2013 for $21,150 at Heritage Auctions. The 1963 Jefferson nickel is very common and can still be found in circulation. However, most coins in circulation range from low circulated grades to about MS63 condition. MS64 examples and higher have probably been pulled from circulation already. Examples in higher grades such as MS65 and higher are probably from rolls or mint sets. MS66 examples are scarce despite the very large mintage of over 450 million pieces struck. Examples in MS67 are really scarce, with less than a handful known and none being finer. At mint state 67, guiding price of Philadelphia struck nickels is $5,000. As for PCGS, this is 1963D nickel at mint state 65 with full steps, a reflective gem with exceptional eye appeal on both design types. Both sides have light gold toning with slightly reflective fields. Full step example that's rarely seen with a ratio of 1 to 3000 according to Bowers. Sold for $9,200 in 2008 at Heritage Auctions. And here is record holder among Philadelphia variants 1963 Jefferson Nickel at Miss Day 67 with 5 full steps on reverse. This spectacular superb gem Jefferson Nickel exhibits sharply detailed design elements throughout, with five steps fully defined on Monticello. The brilliant surfaces are impeccably preserved with vibrant mint luster on both sides. Overall eye appeal is terrific. Sold on February 21, 2020 for $3,600. The 1961P Jefferson Nickel is really common, except in MS66 condition or higher. There are less than a few hundred examples graded in MS66 or higher. In MS67, its very scarce was less than a handful known and non existing in higher condition. With the full steps, it's scarce in any grade. PCGS has graded less than 2000 examples with full steps in all grades combined. This is 1961 Jefferson Nickel at Miss Day 66 with full steps. This gorgeous upper end gem is essentially brilliant with intense satin white luster, virtually blemish free, with an impressively sharp strike that sets this coin apart from vast majority of circulation strike 1961 nickels produced. As specialists in this modern series know all too well, the Philadelphia Mint paid little attention to the quality for the high mintage circulation strike Jefferson issues that it produced during the early to mid-1960s. The result for 1961 represented here is that full steps examples are rare even in the lowest mint state grades. Sold at spring 2022 auction held by Stax Bowers for $10,800. The 1961D Jefferson Nickel is one of the toughest, if not the toughest coin in a series to find with full steps designation. The reverse for this date and mint mark tends to be very weakly struck from worn dies, and as a result reverse of the coin lacks the full step details. Here is a very important struck rarity of this issue, 1961D nickel at mint state 64 with full steps. The 1961D is seldom encountered with five or more visible steps leading up to porch of Monticello. Both sides are satiny and fully lustrous with lovely champagne toning on this one. Sold on February 7, 2013 for $11,162.50 at Heritage Auctions.